everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. So, we were just about to investigate Garnett, uh, the art professor that was sexually harassing his students, but then another murder was reported. So, we are here in front of the scene and we're about to head inside. Oh, that is an August sketch. Oh, that was the creepy dude in the park! <laughs> Looks like the unsub is becoming more disorganized. It is clear that the scene was altered. If I could put, back, put it back the way it was, maybe I could understand why the unsub decided to move certain items. So we need three stuff. Three things. No. Okay. Let's go back. Piece must be missing. August Wright. Isn't that the artist from the park? Either way, I can't open this briefcase without a key. This lock is so small. I bet I could just pick it with the right tool. And we do... Oh, there's a piece of that. Ah, here we go. It's unlikely that the victim naturally kept this trophy hidden. That goes here. A sign of achievement that probably intimidated the unsub. They probably did not know each other closely and the unsub is attempting to turn the victim into a symbol of some sort. Is that picture of something we could take? there was a missing picture in that scene but let's go to the hidden object scene <clears throat> there we go a shattered image of the victim and her family may come from the crime scene there's a scroll hidden like a candlestick we have a broken picture okay Something else is missing. It's clear the unsub removed anything that makes the victim look like a good person. She was stripped of her humanity and positioned the way the unsub thinks of her. Okay. We have... It wasn't this. It was... Somewhere... No, here we go. Piece is missing. Looks like a diploma of some sort. Okay, cool. They illuminate when they're correct. Central Texas College of Law. The victim probably didn't shred her own degree. The unsub probably felt threatened by the victim's education level. Or unsub probably won't have such an impressive degree. Okay. Let's take the crime scene, find the briefcase key. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. A scene right outside the apartment. Oh, 
August sketches an awful lot of women. He also painted that one of Claire in her apartment. <clears throat> so this is the this is these are the kind of twists that the um the show has. They get someone like the very first person they get is like never the person that's responsible, and then they get someone that's really close who may be the killer in charge, or in the really complex ones they get a few suspects, and then like. It was this person all along! Which is definitely good to keep the audience guessing. Okay, we found yet another sketch. Oh, another area to go. Or is this to the park? Yeah, so the college! Oh. Another sketch. So how long are you keeping everybody in town for? Until we arrest the murderer. Why, do you have a trip planned? Just curious. Have a good day, Agent. Oh, there's August. You seem to hang around here a lot. Have you ever spoken to a woman named Claire Worthington? Oh, most definitely. Claire is a vision. Her sumptuous form really inspires my artist's imagination. It might not anymore. Do you know anyone who would have the key to her briefcase? A roommate or a boyfriend? Well, she did drop a key here the other day. Help me find the three sketches I lost, and I'll hook you up. Okay, so I guess that's it. And we do have your sketches. Thanks. Awesome. It's still in mid condition. Oh, cool. This one's my fave. I saw your sketch of Claire in her apartment. Oh, you been inside her apartment? Me and my man Frankie were macking her on this hipster party last night, but we struck out. Was that party art on the square, and is Frankie Frank Garnett by any chance? Whoa, dude! It. How do you know? I'm with the FBI. It's my job to know. And Frankie seem to share a lot of similarities. I'm just an artist, man. I'm not actually sketchy. holding Frank for questioning about the murder of Kate Miller when we discovered a second victim, Claire Worthington. Did you do his dirty work while he was occupied? Murder? No way, lady! Me and Claire are friends! I had no idea she was dead!
please, do you believe me? Right now, the link between you and our prime suspect is just too convenient to ignore. Sparkles! August sketched a picture for Claire, whom he has a crush on. He was hanging out with Garnett at Art on the Square. August denies our accusation that he did Garnett's dirty work and killed Claire while Garnett was in custody. Custody. We'll be putting you under surveillance for the time being, so don't try to leave town. It's time to hand over Claire's key now. Yes, here it is. Just so you know, me and Frank aren't really friends. And I didn't go anywhere with Claire because this wild girl totally blocked our game dancing between us. I think her name's Jim. You can ask her yourself. Convenient, all of these things happen in the same block. <laughs> Austin Com County Community Center, spring semester. Oh! Class schedule? A class schedule for the community center. We should go talk to the director there. We might be able to find the connection between the unsub and this new victim. Rossi, can you investigate Claire's involvement with the community center while I finish up here? Sure thing. Okay. Where'd that janitor guy go? <laughs> hey, there's a light we need for the code. Code pad thingy. All we need to find now is a rooster. Right there. Okay, glass cutter and an LED light. Okay. So this was to turn them on green and off by using the clues on the left. The lights will turn on once all switches are in the on position. Oop. Okay. Okay, yay! <laughs> okay, got the door open. Oh, is that something to click on or no. going in here? Oh, thanks for finding this. All my assignments are in here. I thought I was going to fail the class. I'm glad you came for it. One of the teachers from the art school left it in here. Oh really? My teacher? Yes, and you'll have to excuse me, but I couldn't believe how rude he was. Honestly, he was virgin on harassment. If the teachers at the art school are that lewd, I would consider transferring if I were you. Actually, I was thinking about taking some classes here. Could you give me a tour? Sure, after I help this man. Sir, how can I help you? Okay. Hello, I'm Agent Rossi, FBI. Can I ask who's in charge here? I'm the community center director. How can I help you? There have been two murders in town recently, so I would like to take a look around. Wait, I'm confused. The murders weren't in the community center, were they? Why do you need to look around here? <laughs> This is one of our class schedules. Are you telling me one of my students was murdered? Good lord. I wish I'd give you my pass card to help you investigate the community center, but I think I lost it while jogging in the park this morning. Of course you did. She didn't stay around long to help, did she? 
First, she's hesitant to let us look around, then she leads me away to find her pass card. We should keep an eye on this director woman. EVERYBODY IS SO SUSPICIOUS! Okay. Looks like someone tried to break in here. I need to get this door open to see if it's related to our case. Get a glass cutter? We can. And yeah, we're just breaking into this office. Okay. Ooh. You have a very messy desk. Okay, there it is. Oh! Miss Torres, please accept this letter as my formal complaint against Mr. Garnet. Another complaint against that guy. His sexual advances toward, towards me are clearly legal and frankly disgusting. I fear for any young woman left alone with him. If you do not take steps to remove Mr. Garnet from your school, I'll be forced to contact the authorities. Sincerely, Claire Worthington, Attorney at Law. Letter. <clears throat> ah. Sounds like she knew about it. Anything else? Oh. <laughs> Looks like there's half a piece of paper in here. I wonder if it's important. Let's see if we find the other piece. Does it need more paper? No? Okay. Okay, so I have to find the past card. Huh. Okay, there it is. Where's JJ with that car to the police station? We'll keep working here until she comes back. Okay. Here we go. Painting. Is the unsub ritually hiding the murder paintings in the same place they met the victim? the key on a string so we found a lock key and a murder painting okay we have another task analyze the painting okay but well, we will do that in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you later bye